Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I am a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, sit back and watch this video because today, my friends, I offer you another episode of our Spin the Wheel for a Beanie series, Friendship Edition. So this is episode three, we've had two episodes behind us, and if you're new to the whole thing, welcome. I'm so happy that you found this. And so what this is, is I am reaching out to my friends on the YouTube streets and beyond. Um, and I'm asking them two important questions. One, what's your favorite stitch? And two, can I put you on my wheel? And so what happens is with their permission and their favorite stitch, we spin the wheel for all the stitches. We combine them together and we build a beanie on the fly. So that's basically what this is. And so I'm doing this for the month of February as a little small way of thanking them and appreciating them for all the things that they do for me and for everyone else here on YouTube. So um, without further ado, let me go ahead and grab that wheel and we'll get started. One second. Okay, friends, I'm back with the wheel. I have all the information on the wheel, names, stitches, the dots, all the things. So first what we need to do is we need to find out if our project is going to be five stitches or four stitches. Um, four different stitches or five different stitches and that's indicated by these dots here. So if you see on the wheel here, it alternates. Four, five, four, five. Okay, so we're going to spin the wheel first for that. Once we figure out a four or a five, that's how many times we're going to spin the wheel um, to get our stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start right now. Okay, so we have four stitches for this week's project, so that's awesome. Let me go ahead and place this on a brief pause. I'm going to get my paper in order because I have channel names and all that. Um, so just give me one second to grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first one on the list here, which is Ola Jo. So Ola Jo's favorite stitch is the Alpine stitch, and her channel's name is Ola Jo the Crocheting Sailor. By the way, friends, all of the channels of the content creators listed today will be in the description box. Feel free to check them out. Subscribe to them if you haven't already. They're all amazing people and they all are great. Okay, so next we have Jax. Jack's favorite stitch is Twins in a Stitch. Now, mind you, Jax was on last week's episode, but she had two favorite stitches. And so I needed to feature that second one on this episode. So Twins in a Stitch is her other favorite stitch and her channel's name is Creations by Jax. Next we have Becky. Her favorite stitch is the half double crochet and she is part of my mod squad. She manages my social media and my lives. So next we have Thriss. Uh, Thriss's favorite stitch is the star stitch and her channel's name is Thriss and Stitches. Next we have Mishy. Uh, Mishy's favorite stitch is the half double cross stitch and her channel's name is Mishy's Crochet Nook. Next we have Nerf. Nerf's favorite stitch is the bean stitch and she's part of my mod squad. Next we have Mom. Mom's other favorite stitch is the granny square stitch. That's a series of three double crochets, a space, three double crochets, a space. So yeah, yay mom. <laughs> Next we have Crystal. Crystal's favorite stitch is the Harlequin stitch, and her channel's name is Bagaday Crochet. Next we have Nancy. Nancy's favorite stitch is the Double Herringbone stitch, and her channel's name is She's Got Yarn Too. Next we have Sharon. Sharon's favorite stitch is the Double Cross stitch, and she is part of my mod squad. Next, we have Linan. Linan's favorite stitch is the extended double crochet, and her channel's name is Nina's Knots Crochet. Next, we have Lucas. Lucas's favorite stitch is the wide half double crochet, and his channel's name is Lucas Yarns. Next, we have Gary. So Gary's favorite stitch, his other favorite stitch, is the rice stitch, and he is a returning visitor to our wheel. He has more than one favorite stitch, and so this one is his other favorite stitch. The one from last episode, I believe, was the camel stitch. So this one here is the rice stitch, and his channel's name is Urban Yarn. 
And last but not least, we have Jen. So Jen's favorite stitch is the half double cluster stitch, and she is a member of my mod squad. So there it is, friends. That's everybody on the wheel and their favorite stitches and all the things, okay? So we're going to be spinning for four stitches. Uh, let me go ahead and clear the table here, and I'll be right back. Okay, friends. So I am super excited to spin this wheel for our four stitches. But before we do, I have to tell you that I am a little nervous because the challenges this wheel presents. <laughs> There's lots of things happening on this wheel. So hopefully we get a good combination. Fingers crossed. Wish us luck. Here goes nothing. Okay, so the first one that comes up is Jax's Twins in a Stitch. Double crochet, twins in a stitch. Love that for us. So Jax, uh, twins in a stitch. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and spin for that second stitch, my friends. The next one here is Becky. Mod Squad Becky with the... Uh, half double crochet so Becky half double okay perfect let's go ahead and spin for that third stitch okay so mod squad nerf came up with the bean stitch okay Right. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and spin for that last stitch, friends. All right. Last but not least, we have Thriss with her star stitch. Okay. Let's write that down. Thriss star stitch. Okay. So just to recap, we have... Uh, Jax's stitch, which was twins in a stitch uh, with the double crochet. And then we got Becky, Mod Squad Becky, with the half double crochet. And then Mod Squad Nerf, we got the bean stitch. And then uh, last but not least, we have Thriss with the star stitch. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, friends. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And the colorway here that you see before you is hickory. And the hook that I'm using is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay. So to get started, what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine. So long as the end result is this. From here, we need to chain four. Okay. And from here, we want to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first chain, drop a loop, and slip to close. Pull the tension on both ends to tighten, and you'll see a circle here. Okay? So from here, what we need to do is chain one, and then we want to insert 12 double crochets into that circle. So yarn over, go into the circle, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, Yarn over, go through two, just like that. Okay, so let's do that again. Yarn over, go into the circle, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So that's two so far. We need 10 more. I'm going to continue doing this. I'll place you guys on a brief pause. And when I come back, I'll have 12 double crochets in that circle. Okay, friends, so I have 12 double crochets. And to close off round one, we want to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch. Drop a loop and slip to close. That's the end of round one. So for round two, um, we're going to go ahead and chain one. And we're creating a ribbed crown. It's my favorite crown to do. Um, if you have another crown in mind, by all means, go for it. But uh, I'm creating a ribbed crown. So to do that... We're going to go into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet. 
and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around the chain and the actual stitch from the previous row. So we're going to yarn over, go into the stitch, or I'm sorry, go completely around the chain and the, the stitch there. Draw up a loop and perform your double crochet as normal. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in this next stitch here. So yarn over, go into the stitch, double crochet, and then directly beneath it, a front post double crochet. Just like that. The next stitch, double crochet up top, front post double crochet in front of it. So continue doing that, my friends, and I will see you at the end of round two for a total of 24 stitches. 12 front post double crochets, and then 12 regular double crochets. Okay, so here we are at the end of round two. You should have ended with a front post double crochet, just like that. So what we're going to do to close off round two is we're going to go into the very first stitch of the round, insert our hook, draw up a loop, and slip to close, just like that. For round three, um, we're going to need 36 stitches, so uh, to start off, this is what we need to do. Chain one and do a double crochet in the stitch we just came out of. And then we're going to do a double crochet next door here. And then we're going to do a front post a double crochet directly beneath it. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Um, our project here. So in the next stitch we're going to go double crochet and then double crochet next door to that one and then a front post to double crochet beneath it. Okay so double crochet and then double crochet and then front post double crochet and that's the repeat of round three. Sometimes your stitches will cover other stitches, just move them out the way. So it's going to be a double crochet, double crochet, and front post to double crochet. Okay, so continue doing that my friends, and I'll see you at the end of round three. 36 total stitches. Okay, friends, so I just finished round three here. Um, 36 total stitches, and you should have ended with a front post double crochet right here. To close off the round, we need to go to the very first stitch of the round, insert our hook, draw up a loop, and slip to close. So for round four, we need a total of 48 stitches. So to do that, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to work directly into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go downstairs and next door here. And we're going to do a front post double crochet. Just like that. Next what we're going to do is we're going to do a regular double crochet right next door here. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet right underneath it. Okay, so that's basically the repeat. Let's do it again. So we're going to start with a double crochet. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're going to go downstairs and next door here. We're going to do a front post double crochet. And then a regular double crochet next to that. And then a front post double crochet beneath it. And that's what it looks like. Okay, let's try it again. So next door here is going to get a regular double crochet. And then next it's going to be a front post double crochet downstairs and next door here.
and then next to that is going to be a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet beneath it. And that's what it's looking like. Okay, so continue doing that. We need a total of 48 stitches for the round. Um, continue working this pattern here and I will see you at the end of round four. Okay friends, so I'm closing in on round four 48 total stitches for the round here and you should have ended with a front post double crochet and this is kind of how we're looking right now with all of the ribbing I love the texture it's why it's my favorite so the next round is going to be a total of 60 stitches to close off this round we need to go to the very first stitch of the round insert our hook draw up a loop slip to close and chain one. To achieve the 60 stitches for the round, we need to go back into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet. And then next what we need to do is we need to do a front post double crochet. And then we need to do a regular double crochet. And if you have to move the stitches out of your way, please do that so you don't miss out on the count. So the next stitch here is a regular double crochet. And then next door to that is going to be a regular double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. Just like that. Let's do it again. So after the front post, you're gonna do a regular double crochet. And then a front post double crochet next to that and then a regular double crochet and then a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet there we go So that's what it's looking like so far. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. So next to the front post, it's gonna be a regular double crochet. And then after that, it's gonna be a front post to double crochet. And then a regular double crochet. And then a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet. So continue doing that my friends and I will meet you at the end of the round for a total of 60 stitches for round five. Okay friends, so I just ended round five for a total of 60 stitches. And what we wanna to do to close it off is go into the very first stitch of the round, insert our crochet hook, draw up a loop and slip to close. So for round six, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a round of half double crochets. So to do that, we're going to chain one and we're gonna go back into the stitch that we just came out of, which is right here. We're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through three loops. Okay, so that same thing will happen all the way around for a total of 60 stitches for round six yarn over, go in the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. You're gonna continue that all the way around this round for round six. I'm gonna pause you guys and I will be back once my round is complete. Okay friends, so I'm closing in on round six, round of half double crochets. I love this yarn, it looks so good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out round six. We're gonna insert the tip of our crochet hook into that first stitch. We're going to draw up a loop and slip to close. Now for round uh, seven, we're gonna start the star stitch. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to chain four. So one, 
two, three, and four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw loops from the second, third, and fourth chain uh, from the hook. We're gonna skip that first one there, okay? So we're gonna go into that second one, draw up a loop, draw up a loop here, and draw up a loop here. So you should have four loops on your hook. After that, we're gonna go into the stitch that we just came out of, which is right here. We're gonna draw up a loop there, and then we're gonna go next door and drop a loop there. So you should have a total of six loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, and you're gonna go through all of those loops, and you're gonna chain to lock that in. And this is what it should look like, okay? So to continue, what we wanna do is we wanna go into the eye of the star, draw up a loop, and then we're gonna go into this last leg here, draw up a loop, and then we're gonna go into the stitch of the last leg, which is right here, so that's four, and then we're gonna go into the next two stitches and draw up loops there, so there and there. There should be a total of six loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through all the loops, chain to close. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. We're gonna go into the eye, draw up a loop, go into the last leg of the star, draw up a loop, go into the stitch the, of the last leg there, draw up a loop, so there's four. And then we're gonna go into the next two stitches, one and two, draw up loops there, for a total of six loops on the hook. We're gonna yarn over and go through all six loops. We're gonna chain to lock it. And this is what it should look like, okay? So continue doing that all the way around uh, for round seven, and I will meet you right about here, okay? Okay, friends, I'm closing in on round seven, and this is where I'm at. Um, I'm at the last star of the round. This is star number 30. You should have 30 of these all the way around, okay? So here I am at the last one, and what I will tell you is, is that you don't want to chain to lock this, okay? You wanna keep all of those um, loops as is, just like that, okay? I've looped through all of them. And now what I wanna do is I wanna insert my crochet hook into the very top part of this chain here, the back part. We're gonna draw up a loop and slip to close. And it's just gonna pull everything nice and tight, just like that. We're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna turn our work, okay? So now what we're gonna do um, for round eight, we're gonna do half double crochets in the eye of every star. So on this back side, these little groupings are called eyes. And we're gonna do two half double crochets in each. So we're gonna insert our hook, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. Yarn over, go into the eye, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. And we're gonna do that all the way around our project here. Again, make sure you're not pulling too tight. You wanna keep your, your tension pretty consistent. Not too loose, not too tight, but just right. And you wanna do two half double crochets in every eye of the star, okay? So I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm placing you guys on a brief pause and I shall be back uh, when I get to the end of round eight. Okay, friends, I am at the end of round eight, and I have two half double crochets in the eye of every star all the way around for a total of 60 stitches. To close off this round, we need to go into the very first stitch of the round, which is right here. We're gonna insert our hook. We're going to draw up a loop, and slip to close, just like that. We're going to chain one and turn our work back to the other side. Look how nice that looks. Wow. Okay, so for round nine, what we're gonna do is a round of half double crochets. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to work into um, the stitch right before us here. So it's the stitch that we're coming out of. It's a little awkward, but it's okay. Just go in, draw up your loop, and go through all three, okay? And then jump right to this stitch right here, not this little itty bitty one. You're just gonna jump right to this stitch right here. And you're gonna do a half double crochet in that stitch and in every stitch of the round for a total of 60 half double crochets, just like this, okay? So continue doing this, friends, and I will meet you at the end of the round. Again, this is round nine. Half double crochets, magic number is 60. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, I'm at the end of round nine. All half double crochets for a total of 60 stitches for the round. To close off, what we want to do is go into this first stitch right here. We're going to insert our hook very carefully, draw up a loop and slip to close, just like that. We're gonna chain one. So now for round nine, uh, I'm sorry, for round 10, my apologies, for round 10, we're gonna do twins in a stitch. So featuring double crochets, twins in a stitch. We're gonna start by going into the stitch we just came out of, which is right here in between my thumbs. We're gonna go in and do two double crochets. So that's one, and that's two. So we're gonna do 30 pairs of twins in a stitch, okay? So that's one pair. We're gonna skip the next stitch and then go into the next stitch with two double crochets. Just like that. We're gonna skip the next stitch and go into the next one with twins in a stitch. Just like that. Okay, so pretty simple. Continue doing that, my friends. This is round 10, twins in a stitch, double crochets. You're doing two double crochets in every other stitch for a total of 60 stitches for the round. Okay, so continue doing that, and I will meet you at the end of round 10. Okay, friends, so I just ended round 10. We have um, 30 pairs of twins all the way around the tip. Let me just show you here. And this is what we're looking like so far. Loving it, love this. Okay, so let's close off round 10. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the very first stitch of the round, which is in between my thumbs right here. So we're gonna go into that stitch, draw up a loop, and slip to close. And so to start round 11, we're gonna do the bean stitch. So we're going to chain one, and then what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go into the next stitch. We're not gonna work into the stitch we just came out of. We're gonna go right into this next one here. So to do the bean stitch, what we need to do is um, go right into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go back into that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, and then go back in for a third time, draw up a loop. Oops, draw up that loop. There we go. And you should have six loops on your hook, okay? So you're going in to that stitch three times. You're going to yarn over, go through all those loops, and chain to lock all that in. It's like a mini, itty bitty puff stitch, okay? So we're gonna skip the next stitch and then we're gonna go into the next one. So we're going to go in, drop a loop, that's one. Yarn over, go into the stitch, draw a loop, that's two. Yarn over, go into the stitch and drop a loop, that's three. And you should have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, go through all six of those loops yarn over and chain to lock 
Okay, so that's what it's looking like. And we want to go into every other stitch of the round and do a bean stitch. We're skipping every other one. So we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to go to this one here. We're going to go right into that stitch. Drop a loop, that's one. Yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, that's two. Yarn over, go back into that stitch, draw up a loop, that's three. Six loops on the hook, yarn over, go through all six loops, chain to lock. Okay? So continue doing that, friends, and I will see you at the end of round 11, the bean stitch. Okay, friends, we're closing in on round 11. You should have 30 of these beans. Okay? I verified. I do have 30. And so to close off round 11, what we need to do is we need to go into this space right next to the bean, right here. We're going to drop a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work. Okay, so now we're working from the inside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the bean stitch in these little triangles. So I know we're currently over here, but that's okay. We're going to literally just take our hook and go into that triangle and do our bean stitch. So I went in, I drew, drew up a loop, yarn over, go in for the second time, yarn over, go in for the third time, yarn over, go through everything carefully, and then chain to close. And you'll start seeing the, you know, the shape. It'll be like little diagonals, okay? So we're gonna jump over to this next triangle. We're going to go in, Drop a loop, that's one. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop, that's two. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop, that's three. Yarn over, go through everything and chain to lock it in. Okay? So continue doing that, friends, all the way around. You're going to need 30 beans, and I'll see you at the end of round 12. Okay, friends, I'm closing in on round 12. This is what we're looking like so far with the bean stitch. Okay, so what we need to do is attach ourselves to the beginning of the round. So we're going to go on this side of the bean stitch, go right in here, drop a loop, and slip to close. Chain one, and you guessed it, we're going to turn our work. And we're going to hop over to the triangles. They're more visible now. Um, but yeah, we're going to go into the triangles and do our bean stitch. So we're going to go in, drop a loop, that's one. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop, that's two. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop, that's three. Six loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through all those loops. And chain to lock it in. And then just continue on doing the bean stitch. You're going to need 30 beans for the round. And continue doing this, my friends, and I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, I'm closing in on round 13. It's the third round of the bean stitch. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the first stitch here, just like that, draw up a loop, and slip to close chain one. Let's just take a brief pause here and take a look at our work. Let me make a bunny ear. This is what we're looking like so far. A lot of you guys ask for this. So it's looking super nice. That ribbed crown, the star stitch, then we have the twins in a stitch, the half double crochets, and then the bean stitch. So nice. Look at that. Okay. All right, so let's keep going. Um, we're going to round 14, which is going to be twins in a stitch. So let me just get my fingering correct. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go into the stitch we're coming out of with two 
double crochets. One, and two, just like that. And then we're gonna do two double crochets in between the beans, okay? So yarn over, go in between, and do twins in a stitch, just like that. Go in between, twins in a stitch. Now you're gonna see that triangle. I would suggest to not go into that. We kinda want, we want it dense, you know, Try to minim minimize the holes. If we go into that triangle, we're creating another hole here. But if we work into that hole, we're kind of filling in gaps. Okay? At least that's what my brain likes to think. <laughs> so we're going to continue doing twins in a stitch in between the bean stitch. Okay? We're going to need 30 uh, twins, 30 sets of twins. And I'll see you at um, the end of round 14. Okay, friends, I am closing in on round 14. I have verified that I have 30 uh, sets of twins for the round. And so what we want to do is we want to go into the very first stitch of the round, draw up a loop, slip to close, chain one. Okay, so for round 15, we're going to do a round of half double crochets. So we're going to start with the stitch we just came out of, yarn over, go in, uh, draw a loop, yarn over and go through all three. We're going to do that for every stitch of this round. 60 total half double crochets, just like this, piece of cake. So continue doing this friends and I will see you at the end of round 15 half double crochets for a total of 60 stitches for the round. Okay friends, I'm closing in on round 15. It was a round of half double crochets. We're going to go into the first stitch of the round, draw up a loop, slip to close, we're going to chain four. So for round 16, we're going to do another round of the star stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and draw loops into, um, or draw loops from the second, third, and fourth chain here, like before. So draw up a loop, draw up a loop, and draw up a loop. Let me get a better grip there. There we go. So, so far we have four, and then we're gonna go into the stitch we just came out of, draw up a loop, that's five, and then go into the next one, draw up a loop, that's six. We're going to yarn over and go through all the loops. Chain to lock. And like before, we're gonna go into the eye of the star, draw up a loop, go into that last leg of the star here, draw up a loop, go into the stitch of the last leg of the star, draw up a loop, that's four, then we're going to go into the next two stitches here, and draw up loops from them, for a total of six loops, we're going to yarn over and go through all six, chain to lock, and we're going to continue on by doing the same thing all the way around our project here, just like this. Okay, so we're going to go into the eye, draw up a loop. The last leg, draw up a loop. The last stitch of the last leg, draw up a loop. And then the next two stitches, just like that. Turn over, go through all of it, chain to lock. So continue doing that, my friends, um, for round 16, and I will see you at the end of the round right here. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round 16. I just uh, pulled all the loops for the last star. And like we did down here in round 7, what we need to do is not 
lock it. Okay, what we need to do is we need to just draw through all the loops and then we need to go into the back chain of the top of this stitch here. Okay. Just like that, and we're going to draw up a loop and slip just like that to pull it all nice and tight together like that, and then we're going to chain one, okay? And then now, for round 17, we're going to turn our work, and we're going to do two half double crochets in all of the eyes of the stars here, okay? So um, we're going to yarn over, go into the eye, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through three loops. Do that again, just like that. And we're gonna continue doing this all the way around our project uh, for round 17, just like this, okay? So continue doing this, half double crochets in the eye of every star and I will see you at the end of round 17. And again, it's got to be uh, 60 total half double crochets. Okay. Okay, we're closing in on round 17. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to go into the first stitch of the round, insert our hook, draw up a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain one and turn our work, and this is what we're looking like so far. I love it. So good. Okay. So for round 18, we're going to do half double crochets, and what we're going to do is we're going to start by working into the stitch we just came out of, which is right here. We're going to do a half double crochet. So we're going to go into the stitch, drop a loop, go through all three, and we're going to do that for every stitch of the round. Okay? Just like this. 60 half double crochets for round 18. Okay, friends, we are closing in on round 18. So what we need to do is go into that first stitch of the round, right there. We're going to draw up a loop and slip to close and chain one. Okay, so round 19 on is the brim. So um, we didn't spin and get any single crochets. So you know, ideally the brim would be single crochets, but what we can do is just continue on with a half double crochet. But because we're finishing up, what I'd like to do is do half double crochets, picking up the back loop and that third loop right there. It gives it a nice uh, finishing look. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go into the top of the stitch here, this very first one that we're just coming out of go into the top and out the back, and you can see how I'm picking up that third loop. And the front loop is still sitting there in the front. So we're going to drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Yarn over, go in the top and out the back, and we're picking up the back loop and the third loop. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. After you do round 19, um, which is the half double crochet, picking up the back and the third loop, uh, try on your project, try on your beanie, and if it fits perfectly, then you're done. But if you need to go further, continue on with this um, until you get to the size that you need. You should only need one or two extra ones, depending on um, the size that you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to finish up uh, round 19, and I'm going to continue on until I am complete. So I may need another round after this. So for you, it'll be a second. For me, a little longer. So I'll be right back. Okay, friends. So I needed a few more um, rows. So I went to round 21. Okay. And so it fits perfectly. I love it. It's great. 
And so what we need to do now is go into the first stitch of the round, draw up the loop, slip to close, and chain two. And from here, what we want to do is cut off and do all the things. Let me just go ahead and place you guys on a brief pause, get my scissors. Okay. What we need to do now, nope, it goes like that. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the hook away from our work. Pinch, pull down, just like that. Okay, and from here what we need to do is yarn over the eye of the needle, pinch, feed it through, Turn our work like so. Takes a little bit of adjusting. <laughs> and then let's just go inside here. Go inside, in between fibers and things. Back up. Oops. There we go. Okay, that's good. Oops. Sorry about that. Just trim that off. Okay, and so friends, this is it right here. Friendship beanie number three. It's beautiful. I love the color choice. I love the way the stitches played out. It looks so good, friends. Look at that. Okay. So that ends um, this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And then, of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. So that's it for this one, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.